Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be telling you about the best daily training shoe of 2020 from a company that you've probably never heard of. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that ping button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things, including a link to where you can get these from. So, Atreyu, this is a company from Austin, Texas, and I love Austin, Texas, so let's get stuck in. Right, guys, so Atreyu. Now, like I said in the opening, this is a shoe company you may not have heard about. These guys are from Austin, Texas. Now, if you're a shoe geek like me, you would have heard about them and you would be getting very excited about these shoes because they're absolutely killing it at the moment. But for us everyday runners, you may not have heard of them. So like I said, these guys are from Austin, Texas, uh, and the guy who started this company has basically thought, you know what, I want to make a no-frills, really decent daily training running shoe for everybody that's affordable, um, we're going to take out the middleman in terms of how you can get them and all that sort of stuff. And we're going to shake up the industry and do something a little bit different, which I love um, because it's basically what I'm trying to do here on 40 Runs. Um, so where do we start with this shoe? You know what? Let's start talking about firstly the sort of stats and the features of the shoe itself. Uh, then we'll get on to like how it works because this has got a totally different model to you just going down to, I know, runners need and buying them. Uh, there's a subscription model. And then we'll get on to how the shoe feels. So firstly, some of the stats and some of the features. Now the biggest thing about this shoe is its weight. This shoe weighs under six ounces and actually a, a US 9 is 5.6 ounces, I believe, which is insane. Now this is lighter than my Skechers Razor 3. The shoe has a six mil drop on it. Um, you've got this uh, like basically no frills construction, lightweight no frills construction. The shoe has this one piece EVA midsole uh, but it doesn't have any like rubber attached to it. Instead, it's a durable outsole grade EVA, which is basically blended with rubber, uh, basically, yeah, uh, that can be exposed to the pavement without wearing down too prematurely. Um, and the shoe's only available online. It's $95, but, and this is the thing for us people in the UK, be aware, if you're shipping this to the UK, it's $95 for the one-off, and we'll come onto the subscription if you're buying this as a one-off, but you have to pay, uh, was it $50? So basically the shoe ends up being like 105, 106 pounds to get them here in the UK because you basically have to remortgage to pay FedEx to ship them over, which is a real shame, uh, but that's the way it is, right? But it's still like, say, 105, 115 pounds is not the end of the world, and I think you're gonna be getting value for money with this shoe. Right, so that's the sort of stats and some of the features of the shoe. Um, Let's get on to the subscription model because it's really interesting. Right, so like I said, now as a one-off, you can buy this shoe. There's three different colorways. This is one of them. There's like a traditional gray, bit boring colorway, uh, but people do like it. It's not for me um, because there's too much white. If you're new to 40 pounds, I don't really like white shoes. Uh, and then you've got like this really awesome, like Hawaii looking uh, blue and, and yellow and red, and it just looks awesome. And they're like the three colorways you can buy as a single purchase and that's $95 uh, and then in August they are launching I know it's nearly August but they're launching this subscription based model now where's the thing that comes so when you get your shoes you get like this really let me put the shoe down actually and uh, you get this really cool welcome pack from the guys um, you get a nice little smelly thing to go in your car which I'm going to put in the 40 runs uh, machine and then we get a nice sticker which is awesome so thanks very much Atreo. Um, oh, by the way, I bought these myself. This is not an effort for a tray. So subscriptions. Now, this is how it works, okay? So you get this. Now, listen to this. So beginning in August, so you can put your email in on their website now, a tray will offer a limited amount of running shoe subscriptions with quantities being carefully allocated according to size. You'll be able to set your own reoccurring delivery interval, one, two, or three months, skip a delivery interval, change colors, change quantity, change size, or cancel at any time. And that's $55 a pair. So the shoe goes from... 
$95 down to $55, which is so cheap if you think about it. It's unbelievable. I know you still have to not pay for postage and that, but that's not their fault. That's FedEx for charging the wrong price. Um, and this is all about building a membership, a fan base, a community around the shoes, which, again, I absolutely love, you know, especially with, with 40 runs and having the 40 runs community and, and, and having it all based around what we do. I really, really love this model. And again, from people like me who have a lot of shoes um, and freak out about shoes, having a, a, an ability to get the new colorways when they come out, because like there's going to be an awesome white and pink version of this shoe, which I just can't wait to get my hands on. So you're going to be able to get uh, an option to get the, the new models faster, quicker before everybody else, which I think is awesome. They've got a new model coming out, which has got a, a thicker um, midsole in it. So it's more like a, what's the best way? It's more like a Hoka kind of, you know, thicker stack, mileage eater kind of shoe. And that's coming out. And oh, by the way, follow the guys on Instagram uh, because that's the best way to find out about the new stuff coming out. They're absolutely killing it on social media. Uh, if you've got any questions about anything, hit them up on Instagram. They're, they're nailing that. They know that you know people like me and you, we, we use social media now to connect with companies and instead of sending an email, waiting three days to hear from somebody, just hit them up on Instagram and they'll come back. And while you're on Instagram, make sure you follow 40, at 40 underscore runs. But yeah, so they're absolutely nailing it in that terms um, as well on, on the social media side. But with the subscription model, which is I want to talk about, I think it's something really different. They've cut out the middleman uh, to try and keep the cost down. So, you know, somebody like, I don't know, like I said, runners needs earlier is not buying them off of them and then adding price on and adding cost on. You know, the cost is being kept down to a minimum. So they're making an affordable running shoe that um, basically we can uh, upgrade, change and all that sort of stuff as and when we want to. Right, so the important thing, how does the shoe feel? And why am I saying this is the best daily training shoe of 2020? Well, Firstly, this is a first impressions-ish kind of uh, video. Um, and it's a bold claim I know to put into a first impressions video. You might think I'm mad and I know I get excited about shoes on this channel. So apologies straight away. I am gonna do a video to follow up on this and I'll do some comparison videos as well for you. But straight out of the bat um, with this shoe, what's noticeable and, 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 it, and I think hopefully now you realize uh, from 40 rounds, if a shoe that I can stick on and get out the door and run and it does everything I want to straight off the bat, you know what it's like, I swear, you know what I'm talking about, when you put a shoe on straight away and you know how it feels and it just feels great, that's why I'm getting that feeling from this shoe. Now my most popular shoes at the moment are like the Saucony Ride 13 in terms of daily trainer, my Skechers Hyper Razor 3, and my A6 Evo ride, which I'm very close to retiring. Um, but that's sort of where I'm at. Lightweight, um, responsive-ish daily training shoes that do a bit of everything. And this is what this shoe feels like, but it feels, I don't know, it, it sort of, it's sort of molded to my foot. When I first started out in the shoe, uh, it, it felt a little bit firm. And I thought, okay, that's firmer than I thought it would be, uh, based on, you know, this big slab of like EVA. I thought, okay, it's gonna be a little bit softer. But actually, it started off a little bit firmer. And it was only when I got into my second run and I put them on again, and I, it was like, it was almost like putting on a pair of like, you know, like your slippers that you just sort of molded to your feet because you've been wearing them so long. It kind of felt like that. And I was like, oh, that's better. So I went out and it just it's just got progressively better and it's got progressively more responsive. And with the weight, and the EVA, I'm getting such a nice ride out of it. It just, it just feels effortless. And that's the thing. Because of the low weight and because of the EVA, you're just getting a really nice, smooth uh, ride that you know you can pick up, you know you can ease off on, and you can do everything. And that's, and that's what you want from a daily training shoe, right? You want something you can go out and knock out 5K, you know, a quick park run, but also that you can stick on and go and run 30 miles at an easy pace. And this is where it's coming in. The construction on the upper is cool, it's breathable. Uh, there's no real structure here in the heel, which is for me not a problem, but it's something to be aware of. There's elements of foam around here to give you a nice bit of cush. The tongue is brilliant. It's not it's sort of wide, so it sort of fits over your whole foot and it just sits down nicely on the top of your foot so you get it really locked in with the sort of traditional lacing. These remind me of the sort of laces you'd get on your school shoes, you know, your PE, your physical activity shoes at school, which I kind of dig actually. I just like the traditional feeling of it. But the overall blend of the upper, especially over here in the UK where it's hot at the moment, it just feels great and my foot's not getting too warm. The outsole, you know, it, it's, you know, I'm running these down the river and look, I know there's brand new pretty much, but 
it's been giving me plenty of traction down the river and, and I've had no issues with it. You know, you would see that and you'd think, mm, is it going to be slippery? It? No, it's great. It really is. Um, and as you guys know, down the river, towpaths, those, that, those sort of, they're not trails, but those towpaths, they eat shoes alive. But these guys at the moment, um, after the first few runs I've done in them, they seem to be holding up, which was a concern, not lying. When I saw that, I thought, how are these guys going to cope with that? And they're doing really well. So, yeah, so you know what? Like I said, I get excited about shoes on this channel, but really as a daily training shoe, at the moment, I'm going to put more miles onto these, but at the moment, for me, this is the shoe of 2020. It just, I love the lightness. I love the feel from the foam and the overall construction combined with what they're doing with the subscription and the price and everything else. Ah, yeah, it's great. So check them out, Atreyu, go online, have a look at the website, listen to the videos talking about what it's all about and then you sort of, you'll get engulfed in it like me, but yeah. Is it gonna be the shoe of 2020 for me? I think it is.